Yo, hello everybody. I just wanted to make a quick video about this update because there's actually something that they did that I really, really like. Um, please don't mind the overexposure of light in the camera or nothing really I can do during the day and the sun is shining, so yeah. But um, this is actually the first time logging in with this setup that I did check out the, some of the changes to iOpen and Ultrafin game a bit more in depth. That's not actually what I'm interested in talking about today. Hold on, let's just see what I didn't sell. Yeah, that makes sense. I had a lot of that to be sold. Okay, I need to reboot that back, back to the market. Uh, but anyways, I'm not gonna manage my daily daily businesses today on this video. But what I know, I don't have them on my inventory. Actually, what I want to talk about and what I'm really excited about, and this has to do a lot with the B team, because I've been working on some gear for them. And um, once they announced that they would be changing, also by the way, here's a little bit of spoiler, spoilers for what kind of gear I'm getting for the team and what I've been working on recently. Uh, so I just wanted to talk a little bit about how they rebalanced uh, set bonuses, especially for low levels. And as you can see, like this set, for example, didn't use to give you an AP or an MP. Uh, I don't think it gave an MP. So now uh, nowadays it gives an AP. Same comes for like this Saurusul, Sauro shell set. Uh, it gives you a range and an AP. I think it already gave you a range before, but now it also gives you an AP, which is huge. Um, some other examples is like the Hurtful Locker set. It gives you an AP now. That's huge. Uh, and I think they changed the stats to what they give. Uh, they, I don't think they changed like the actual stats of the items at all. They just, uh, yeah, they just rebalanced the set bonuses. If I'm not completely mistaken. Uh, for example, the Gargoyle set. Uh, I think this... This actually re received a huge buff in like the. It didn't used to give you the, this much HP, but what is neat about this is that um, even if you take two items, uh, three items, it still gives you an AP. Uh, and at four items, it gives you the range, which is nice. Uh, do I have any other examples here? I guess this one has a set. Now it gives you an AP. Pretty neat. Uh, weirdly enough, they did not change the Oasin. Owasin well set, Wassel set, I guess it says states right there. They did not change this, which was weird because they said that the set would, uh, these changes would apply to every level 100 to 150 sets. Uh, we're just gonna take a look at them. Actually, we can actually take a look at them right now. So hold on, let's just B. No, that's the wrong button. There we go. Equipment. Let's go to. Mm -hmm. Let's put uh, 150 here. And let's put 100 here. Uh, let's go from lower to higher. And I don't know if I can exclude trophies anyway. Like, for example, the Ambusher set gives you an AP. And then we have... Uh, hold on, what's the first set we can see from here? Uh, I don't think they changed the class set. Bombs are still, which is understandable. They didn't really need to do that. Yeah, I show you the... Boot, boot Woodloom set already. Uh, Borg Chief set is a good example. It now gives you an AP and an MP. But like, like I said, they didn't really change the actual stats on the items, but they improved the set bonuses, which is really nice. I'm gonna show you in a bit a, a little bit of my sets that I've been planning. Also a little bit spoilers for the B team. But, um, and what is really cool about, for example, this set, that even at three items, it gives you an MP. Two items, no MP. Um, the AP only comes here, and as you can see, the, they also removed the weapon from the set, which is really nice. You can act, act, use like a different weapon now, and less items in the set kind of like works well with the bonuses, so you don't have to have too many of them to get the better bonuses, for example. Uh, I think they did this to some other sets too, like many sets ha got the weapon removed from the like set, it's not no longer counted towards the set bonus, which is nice. Um, Dragon Big Set, this was like a major one, they now it gives you an AP and MP, to be fair there's a lot of items here and personally I think they should have changed some of these stats, like for example this half is just bad. Uh, 5, but yeah, at the 6 you get the AP, 
but I think you get the MP at 3 already, yeah, that's a kind of a theme here, that with these bigger sets you get the MP boost at, with 3 items already. So of course you can't be using the better trophies, but uh, this, uh, in my opinion, it is highly makes like full sets and having full set bonuses much more viable for at least the early level still. After 150 it becomes a little iffy again except for higher levels when you have like the proper dofus and stuff like that. Uh, white rat set, I really like this where you like at three items you get an MP. This set is also just really strong and they took the sword away from it. So now you can basically wear the full set and have, an, have a other, another weapon as a sword. Uh, have another item as a weapon. Uh, here again I think the AP comes last. Uh, black rat set same thing three items it gives you an mp just overall very nice uh this set this gives you an mp uh didn't used to give you an mp or ap i don't think so or maybe it did not sure this one is also really promising it gives you an ap even with three items there there they kept the weapon but you can still get the ap with three items which is really nice you can really work around and get some nice combination of bonuses like an ap from two different sets even though you don't have to, you, even though if you can't wear all four of them but just three of them gives you the ap that's really nice pressure set gives you an ap uh we looked at that already and Am ambushers up yeah um, this set also still includes the weapon but it gives you an AP with three items, which is really nice. This is actually really interesting set. This, uh, there's some nice combinations with this one. Uh, for example, the pressure set, you can substitute the belt and have them both on at the same time. They are both strength and cha uh, chance, and they both give you an AP now. You get two APs from sets just using them. You just need to figure out where you get an MP. Uh, moon set gives you an AP, really nice. Uh, yeah, just like, most of them just gives you an AP or MP now. Uh, I think the main sets they talked about in like when promoting this, they, they mentioned like um, Moonwolf set and Soft Oak set. Those get got nice, nice additions. Although if we get there, like this applies to the higher levels one, like the Ancestral Trinic set. It's also now gives you an AP and MP. So wearing the full Ancestral set might even be a thing again because it is fairly budget. So this could be like nice news for new players. Uh, you of course can't be wearing that much, much, much of the better trophies, but actually that becomes cheaper for you as well. I will soon show you because if you use Rhine Needles, you'll still get to a respectable amount of AP and MP and very nice sets without using like Seekers and Nomans, which can actually lower the cost of your set a lot, which is really nice in my opinion. Uh, Violet set, well, this is a little weird set, but it now gives you an AP, so. I guess you somebody can figure out with something with that. The bull buckler set, this is actually really handy. It gives you an AP for these three items and like it's kind of an omni set. So it's not like it's not ideal to have the shield because it doesn't give you a damage bonus. Uh, but um, you can make something really interesting in combinations with this and like it's a really promising thing now. Echo flick K set, it gives you an MP. I would really wish this would give you an AP, but I'll take the MP. Uh, what else should I mention? Something, no, Snailman free, Snail Met set always gave you an AP, but they, now it gives even better stats. This one always gave you an AP, so actually this, I don't think this had any changes. This is also fine. Zellomorph set now gives you an MP, this is also nice. Uh, Colossus set, this gives you an AP, I think actually this is pretty strong of a set. Nowadays. Area Woods, so this is a really interesting one, it gives you range and AP, and I think here, yeah, it, you give the you get the AP even with three items. Uh, Royal Master God Ball set, gives you an AP even with three items, really nice. Uh, Ractal set, I think this always gave you an AP, but now it gives you range too, I'm not sure, I don't remember all of the bonuses from memory, this one also gives you an AP, now this is just a strong set, like a really strong set, a strong set. This set also, like, I don't think anybody ever considered wearing this set in full. Actually, I st still think it's the case, but it now gives you an AP with three items. So you could theoretically mix this with the other other set, like they have always kind of intended you to do, but I still think this is kind of poopy. I mean, the weapon is interesting. It gives you kind of strong stats, but um, just if they cloak, well, it 
gives nice damages, but still like there's no resistance either. I don't, I don't think they still made this set viable, but it's still an interesting opportunity. Maybe somebody can figure out a like, really good combination with some other sets. Uh, dragon set, also I think those these two sets, there's the other one. Other dragon set with three items also gives you like a nice bon more better bonuses. Okay, we can talk about move set now. So one range AP and MP, I think it already gave like an AP before... One of these, I don't think it gave a range, but here again, three items gives you an MP. Also for this strength, 150 vitality, really strong. Like you can have the best items of this, of some other set and fill in the gaps with the movable set, like and maybe I'll show you soon in the Dofus book. Uh, and I think, I don't, I don't remember if this set gave you an AP, but now it does. Uh, this one gives you an AP, I still think this is like a really promising set now for uh, agility characters if you decide to get a set at that level and this is an interesting one too now uh, one AP at pretty three items also kind of nice to damage -ish. it gives you a range too not sure if these items are I'm not saying that all, it, this makes all of those sets now viable but uh, it makes them worth consideration that's already huge for me. For like for a person who actually has been spending a surprising amount of time designing like low level sets, where it's for like PvP purposes or just like thinking about maybe if I in the future would do have these characters, what kind of sets I would use. I, I spend a lot of time in Dovus Lab and Dovus Book. Uh, for like this has just like really opened a lot of connections in my mind because I've been just used to looking at these items that are available and combinations, and now this just opens all, so many more possibilities. Like the street set, for example, I think you can combine this with the Elia wood set. And you get an AP from there, an MP from here, which is pretty nice. You can't wear an Gelano anymore, which is... I don't like that, but uh, just example of one set. Uh, this set is really interesting. Two items, 120 vitality, vitality, one MP, air, air resistance. I mean, the hat is kind of bad, but the weapon is actually pretty good with the stats, like range. Uh, for agility character from a weapon is actually not that common on those like levels so this is pretty good and also it gives you the damage and pretty decent stats uh, i don't know if you actually want to use it as a weapon weapon we'll be seeing i think i'll be including this in some of my sets for the b team in the future Maybe, not sure about that though uh but anyways like two items you get one one mp that's it's kind of huge i think this always gave you an ap this one didn't use to now it does pretty nice or maybe, I don't know, Don't not 100% on these things, but uh, this one now gives you an AP, makes this set a lot more viable and really interesting. I think you can make something really nasty and nice with this in combination with one of those. Just one agility bow that you might make a nasty, or like the dragon one, nasty low-level PvP character with that. Uh, I already have some ideas for like Fogren out uh, for like one level 100 pushback set with Gargoyle and Boo Woodlum. Uh, what else did I want to show you? Something like relevant. Uh, I really like the ceremonial rat set now. AP MP range because the stats on this set is actually not that bad, especially for I think it's level 35, 135 where you can wear it. Where is the highest one? No, it's actually 134. Uh, and like here again, just three items gives you an MP. Vitality, nice bonuses overall, even resistance. Uh, but yeah, I really like this set nowadays. I really like the bonuses from what it gives you now. Oh, now I remember what's the one set I still wanted to show you, like draw attention to. There we go. This, I think, is really. Oh. Okay, this one they nerfed a little bit. This used to, like in the beta, I think this gave you an MP. Understandable that they removed it. It's still a nice bonus for two items. You get an AP from this weapon. Okay, this is not as hype anymore. Uh, it in the beta it used to give you an AP. And that would have been actually quite strong. No MP, I think it gave. Uh, Watering this set now gives you an AP. I think it even with three A. No, okay. They, here you need four items. That's a little upsetting. Uh, Fire Fox set, Soft Oak set. Yeah, AP MP. Uh, no stats changes, but with three items you get an AP, uh, MP. Uh, yeah, you do need all of the items for the AP though. 
Uh, one more, one or two more sets I wanted to talk about. Royal Penguin set gives you an MP now. Really nice. I'll be not I will probably be using this with a combination of another set. Uh, there is there is go we ghost in the set. There is a little bit more like viability to this set now. I'm still not a hundred percent on board. It, you do get one AP for four items, but the thing is, there's like some random items here. Like this ring gives you strength. The other, all the other pieces give you agility. This one gives you a chance a little bit. It is a little weird why this ring gives you strength. I never really got that about this set. Uh, but it now gives you an AP, and with five items, it gives you two range. So maybe you can work something out there. Not 100% sure. Uh, yeah, now we're getting the ones that are unchanged, unchanged because they get to the higher levels. Also, this set is just really strong for its level. Three items and an AP and like good stats. I think this always gave you an MP, so yeah, nothing to mention there. But there's one more set I wanted to... Zato Vision, yeah, where is it? Um, but I think that's always given you an AP. Oh, they changed this one. This one is pretty neat now. It's pretty good bonuses. Not still sure how viable it is, but like, I think it, two items already gives you like nice damages and stats. So this definitely might be included somewhere, and also you get an AP with three items already. Four items give you a range, okay. Uh, anything else? Now we get the trophies. Uh, 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 yeah, but I think this might have always given you AP, but this is still really interesting set. Gonna be quite expensive though, because you need to want to know this research. Uh, yes, okay, I think I'll now go to the Dove's book and show my plans there a little bit. Okay, here we are back in Dofus Book. Um, the reason why I'm using Dofus Book now instead of Dofus Lab is uh, these stats and sta changes just came here earlier. Like, Dofus Lab still hasn't updated all of the uh, spells, for example, for Saram and a Rogue and just a few characters that they just, for some reason, still haven't updated like many of the spells, which is kind of annoying. Uh, and like not to mention the changes now made, maybe they have changed that, but like, there's like something still missing. And actually, uh, I don't know if other people have been uh, experiencing this recently, but I think Dofus Lab has gotten a lot more laggier, even s ever since they included like the recommendations based on like other people's builds. Uh, it's just become a lot more laggier to change equipment and build sets there, and I really dislike it. If anybody knows the guy who makes it or has any connections like is it just me or is it a lot more laggier now to use and actually i've kind of gravitated back to dofus book unfortunately even though i have my pro uh, problems with dofus book but at the moment it's just again i think it's just a better site to use anyways i just want to a little bit of spoilers for the b team but like here we can see that if you just use the full uh white rat set you get range could be higher but like you can get to uh, 11 AP and 6 MP, you do need, you, you do need an MP, AP MP XO, or, but you can actually just uh, maybe replace this with the Voyager, the I don't know, uh, yeah I think it's Voyager, uh, this trophy and then you don't even need the XO anymore, uh, I just uh, want to be flexing gun, I don't know. Because I will be using APMP Galanos later on anyway, so I'm just getting them early. Uh, but yeah, we can see that a pretty decent intelligence. Only thing is lacking a little bit of range, because if you do like a Saker No Man's it, it's a lot easier to get uh, 6 range. Also, notably, I'm not using Limbo 1 either, which also just helps you a lot with the stats. So I wanted to have a proper weapon with some stats, maybe, I don't know why, I just kind of wanted to do a little bit things differently with this team. But yeah, just this is one example. Um, one other example, I think I like the Sadida set. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I really like this set because like you can use combination with these items. You can't quite wear three of these. Uh, like you can't quite get the full bonuses from the Gargoyle set with this set. 
but uh, this just works well for this uh, element uh, the build because uh, actually maybe I'll showcase it with Zealer because here you can just use the Sauro cell set and then the black rat set and it gives you an MP there an AP from here my wife just came home hopefully the noises don't bother too much the recording uh, but yeah just kind of I have been really excited about these changes because you can, I, I think you can make a lot more interesting sets now for lower levels. Uh, maybe I'll just showcase the Sadida. Uh, here I'm gonna be planning on using a combination of the Satovichan set and Moogle set for the MP from here and AP from here. Gives you pretty decent stats. The, of course, there's some vitality over mages here. And it's not ideal to use the verse trophies, but it fits a little bit more into my budget for this new team anyway. So that's kind of nice. Uh, maybe this is no wrong one. Uh, Rogue Int. So yeah, you can use the new Helmina set with the combination of the Soft Talk set. And you can AP and MP from there. You get to 11-6 quite easily. You do, need to, you do need to get the EXO, but again, you can just replace maybe this with the MP trophy and save a lot more money like that. Pretty much everything I wanted to share about these things now. I'm just really excited about this. Uh, I still have to go figure out if I like the changes to the glasses over time. Enutroph looks really fun. I hope kind of do. Um, also like some of the study that changes. But um, I'm hopefully going to make a little bit more of these like kind of lighter videos for me to make in between because I'm actually running into a little bit of a grind for the grind for the B team. Uh, mainly just I need to get some levels and stuff but um, so yeah I'm working on the new content for the B team but um, in between I have some ideas for this kind of short videos but uh, hopefully if you like it uh, leave a like comment subscribe and stuff like that bye bye